Welcome, my dear friends. Today, I want to share something that we all experience at some point, the pain and confusion of holding on when we know it's time to let go. Maybe it's a friendship, a relationship, or even a certain phase in life. We cling, we beg, and we hope that things will return to what they once were. But sometimes, sometimes, the greatest act of love is to let go and to kiss them goodbye with grace and peace in our hearts. Let me tell you a story. Long ago, a young monk came to me, heartbroken. His best friend, whom he loved like a brother, had decided to leave the monastery, finding that his heart was elsewhere. The young monk didn't understand. He asked me, why, when we're so close, must he leave? He wanted his friend to stay, even if it meant his friend would be unhappy. And in that moment, I saw a part of myself, an old self that had once held on too tightly, too fearfully. You see, letting go is not just about the person or thing we're releasing, it's about the peace we allow ourselves to embrace. When we try to make others stay, even when they no longer want to be part of our lives, we are actually hurting both them and ourselves. Imagine trying to hold on to water. The harder you grasp, the more it slips through your fingers. Why do we cling so hard, you might wonder. Often, it's because of the stories we tell ourselves. I'm not enough if they leave. This relationship defines me. I'll be empty without them. But these are illusions. Each of us is complete, and every goodbye, though painful, is an opportunity to deepen our self-understanding. Think of the seasons, my friends. In autumn, the trees let go of their leaves. They don't cling to what once brought them beauty. They release and prepare for the next cycle. In our lives, too, change is the only constant. People will come and go, just as the leaves on the trees do. And holding onto them only delays our own growth, just as it blocks theirs. The Buddha once taught that attachment is the root of all suffering. But what does that truly mean? Attachment keeps us in the past, a place we cannot change, or pushes us into a future that doesn't yet exist. Freedom from attachment, however, brings us to the present, where life is happening right now. Here, we can find peace because we're no longer chasing something that isn't there. Remember, there is great beauty in loving someone without needing to own them. We can love deeply and also let go gracefully. Saying goodbye doesn't mean we stop caring or stop appreciating what they brought into our lives. It simply means we're honoring their path and our own. Now, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect, who or what in your life might be time to release? What are you holding onto out of fear? When we let go, we create space, space for new relationships, for new growth, for new parts of ourselves to emerge. By letting go, you're not losing, you're expanding. And let's remember, too, that some will release us along their journey. When they do, let us offer them a silent blessing as they leave. May they find happiness and peace, wherever they may go. May we find our own peace, unburdened by what no longer serves us. To let go is not to lose but to embrace life's rhythm, to trust in the natural flow that life brings. There is strength in surrender, my friends. Not all who leave you are lost. Some go because that is their journey. And you, too, have your path to follow. When we can say goodbye with love instead of resentment, we free ourselves from anger, from doubt, and from the desire to control what was never ours to control. Letting go is not something you do just once, it is a practice. With each goodbye, we practice peace, we practice gratitude, and we cultivate a deeper sense of trust in ourselves and in life. So, if you find yourself today holding onto someone or something, consider, is it time to release them with kindness, to let them go without guilt, and to kiss them goodbye? In doing so, you honor both your path and theirs. Thank you for joining me in this reflection. May you find the strength to let go, the courage to trust, and the peace that comes with embracing your journey. If this message has touched your heart, please consider sharing it with others who may need to hear it. Subscribe to the Mindful Path TV for more lessons like this. Together, we walk the path of mindfulness, of peace, and of self-discovery.